Rukop Mine. Rukop Mine. Well, here's the shaft. Um, pulley wheels are not as big as what they had, you know, in Molly Hill and whatever. But anyway, um, the ropes are still still there. Um, the engine house must have been down there with that building that has no roof on. Um, that's presumably electric because electric cables there. So, um, we'll have a closer roof, look, the roof's gone in that building, so I think we'll just have a look before it all disappears, so it mustn't be worth the scrap man to take it away. So, the building here with the roof that's collapsed, I've just looked and there is a machine in there, still inside. Um, it actually looks like a win winding house. So there must have been another shaft here. So, so this is where a shaft would be here, and um, it's covered over with this steel plate. Obviously this is still the frame there that allowed access to the to the shaft. Mm, there's a hole there. I'll drop this bit of wood down, I don't know. How far it goes can't hear it. So it is some kind of distance. Timbers, yeah. Oh, that looks like a, a reel for cable. So they've taken one shaft away anyway. And uh, we'll have a look into the engine house. So I'm about to have a look in the engine house. Unfortunately, the roof's gone. Um, the door is over there. So I think we'll come in by the proper entrance. Well, there it is. The motors have gone. Just the drive left there. So that's planning listed buildings. That's good. Durham County Council, 30, 1990. The floor spot mine looks up and it's about time. Uh, so they're going to try and get listed building status. What a good idea. I'm just guessing that this could have been knocked down simply to get the motors out. Somebody with a GCB or something. So the other shafts there, but possibly that wasn't the main shaft. This might have been. No, uh, I would have to have two here. Yeah. So we'll have a walk around to say. Uh, drainage pipes. So there been some kind of quarry there. So this little building's in good condition. 
um, would be used for cutting or whatever, no. Yeah. We use some in all railway tub lanes. Hmm. Right. So see the hot uh, shafts there. But this definitely looks like a way in for the for a drift mine. Yeah. Still cables lying around. Tub lanes. So this is the way in for a drift. It's actually still got like the hydraulic activator to open the gates here. Oh, concrete lined at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, see, this is a loading bay. Practice for a while, so taking something away from the tip heap, pit heap. Obviously, this is used by the farmers. These would be stands to hold cylindrical drums. See, it's still used by the farmer, I would imagine. There's the, there's the shaft. It's a fan. It's obviously been, presumably, pit. Beam there. I think that's been put in recently. Benches. Toilet. Desk. So. Have a look up to the to the shaft. This is where the winding engine was. Base plate still there, cast iron. So it's been taken away. There are the chutes. So well, there must have been. Um, hopper there, so the material from the mine came out this shaft, and this will be the loading bay. And actually, here is all the electrical stuff. And Here's the cage and all the ropes. Windy pipes still lying on a bit of pit belt and use for something or other. Oh, and here's another drift. W B B M P eighteen seventy eight. So this is another drift.
as electrical switches. So, there you are. Well, this is a public footpath opposite the Rookup mine and it says beware there are dangerous mine or quarry excavations in the area. Walkers are welcome to explore this land. So, here we go. Well, here I am, um, the opposite side of the road to the Rookup mine. You can actually still see it on the top of the winding gear there. Um, this would be, this like an open cast quarry and it would be for iron ore. And quite extensive. So the iron ore was been just in certain deposits and the rest is left. So, it's all humpy bumpy and uh, there's, the road, um, there's another quarry over there, presumably for iron ore again, uh, and as I say there's the, the shaft and actually there's the car down there. So, really, except for the landscape being altered uh, in this area, there's nothing, no buildings, machinery or whatever. I've come down the road a little way and uh, came across um, this partial section of Rook Hope Arch. Uh, looking at it, you would think it was a railway viaduct, um, but it isn't. Um, it's a big structure, it has been, for to take the flue um, out of the smelting works. The flue did take the dangerous poisons away, but um, a big element in why it was constructed was because they could get a lot more um, silver and lead out of the flue by getting small boys cleaning it and in this particular one it was flushed with water and landed in a tank. I've come now to a site near Westgate um, <clears throat> it's called West Rig Open Cut and it is now of scientific um, importance uh, because of the cut that you can see, it's marked there, that where the miners uh, underground have taken the iron ore, uh, the, the, the galena out for the lead. It's surrounded by iron ore, um, and so that's been removed by, by open cast method for the steelworks, but that piece that's left in the middle was of no value, so it was left in, but it shows a good example of where the miners used to be working underground. <laughs> 